Now I'll start the melody on the organ. Hi, HCG family. So, um, I am on my very low calorie day eight, and since I'm not doing videos every day, I am gonna do a really quick rundown of my weight releasing so far. Um, I started at 201. I loaded for two days, and on very low calorie day one, I was at 204 for a three pound weight gain. Then, on day two, I was all the way down to 200.5 for a release of 3.5 pounds, then down to 197.8 the next day for a release of 3.7 pounds. Um, and then, let's see, so day four, I was maintaining at 197.8, so a goose egg, no change. Um, then the following day, day five, down to 195.1 for a release of 2.7 pounds. Next day, maintained, goose egg, no release. Then day six, I'm sorry, day seven, which was yesterday, I was at 194 even for a release of 1.1 pounds. And today, I am at 193.9 for a release of 0.1 pounds. So overall, that is, for my very beginning weight, a release of 7.9 pounds, which is almost an average of eight pound, uh, a pound a day. So, man, I can't complain about that. That's pretty awesome. Um, you know, I had some pretty huge losses for a few days. And it looks like I kind of go uh, release, maintain, release, maintain, release, maintain. Which is what my body's doing right now. So, okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, you just don't know what you're going to get with this. But I'm really excited. I don't think I've been in the 193 range in quite a long time. So, saying yes to this. Um, so I did finally sign up for my fitness pal, which I had no idea what that was. And all week I've been like, man, I need to learn how to count calories and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, kind of thinking about it, but not doing anything about it. And I was out the other night with a friend of mine and he had to lose a ton of weight for a film role he had. And he's like, Melina, sign up for my fitness pal. He's like, you can count calories in there. It's so easy. So, you know, I've been hearing all of you talk about it, and uh, so finally yesterday I went on and I signed up myself, and I love it. It's super awesome. Really, really amazing. You can put your exercise in and your calories, and you guys know the rest. So that's going to be amazing in P3 when, you know, you're kind of a little on your own and you're trying to uh, figure out what you can and can't eat to do that whole few weeks of stabilizing. Um, so I'm super thankful for that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, eating and eating perfectly on pop, which is what I have been doing. Um, so, uh, sorry, perfectly on protocol pop. So I've noticed a lot of you are doing mac nuts and having the unrefined um, coconut oil in your diet during P2 and it's been helpful and has not really been inhibiting you in any way um, but that makes me super nervous for myself and I've been with this weight for such a long time I'm so ready to release it and move on and um, you know a lot of my emotional blocks that a lot of and, and issues that came with the weight are on their way out the door for me as well. Um, you know, I just feel so motivated. There is no interest in cheating. I mean, for a couple of days there, <laughs> I was loving the food TV and watching and like reading food blogs and totally tormenting myself. <laughs> and um, there was still no motivation to cheat. I really, really, really feel confident um, in myself and in, this, and in this protocol. So I don't think of those two things as cheating, but I think of them as off protocol and I, they confuse me, you know, for lack of a better explanation. And so I personally plan on saving those for later and um, 
when I hit a stall and it's been a few days or I plateau for you know a week I think I might check check them out then <laughs> but you know for now I'm I'm gonna keep that kind of off I've I've eaten um, day days um, one through seven were absolutely a hundred percent perfect on protocol which leads me to today because even though I've gone on and on about not cheating and being perfect I am a freelance designer and this morning I had a meeting uh, at a coffee shop and you know I, I told the the man beforehand uh, I'm like listen I'm on a really strict diet and uh, I'm not gonna be doing anything but drinking coffee and uh, he's actually a friend of mine so he, he was pretty alright with it anyway I get to the restaurant no issues drinking coffee you know had a tablespoon of milk maybe a tiny bit more and then I don't know what the heck happened I must have said something about diet uh, you know they were probably like do you want to get something and I was like no I can't this is like really specific and strict and I just honestly I don't know if you're gonna give me the right amount of chicken or whatever so like no and I got really super peer pressured into eating <laughs> and, uh, so you know all your videos were flashing through my mind and I remembered someone saying that they ate three eggs I think so I thought okay I don't like egg whites, but I'll get two egg whites and one full egg scrambled. I mean, this was pure, I totally like gave in to peer pressure. It was weird. So I'm not mad at them. I'm totally annoyed with myself. Anyway, I was like real specific. Absolutely no oil, no oil whatsoever. I'll salt and pepper it myself. And so I get these eggs and they're a little bit shiny. So there's probably a little tiny bit of oil in there. And I ate them. I do not know what that was about. Um, I believe that that is close to protocol. At least protein wise. But what the heck. I'm kind of really annoyed with myself. That was so surprising. Um, would I give in if somebody was like eat a piece of cake? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Or you know like have a bite of my sandwich no way I'm not gonna have a bite of anything off protocol but like I did this so that was weird um, <laughs> so I have to work on that um, now we'll see what happens tomorrow hopefully you know no major difference I'll do everything else absolutely perfect today and just move forward <laughs> but that was surprising I can't believe I gave in it was the strangest thing um, I do want to ask you guys one quick question. I have a weed allergy, and if you can believe it, that tiny bit of wheat that's in a Melba toast to a day is kind of irritating me um, and giving me itchy skin. Who knew? I, I didn't. I thought I could probably get away with it. But does anybody out there who has to do gluten free have any cracker recommendations? Because I would really love to go ahead and get off the wheat completely. All right, so um, happy releasing and maintaining to everyone. Thank you guys for subscribing to me. Um, the ones of you who already have are amazing. I'm already feeling a part of this community. Um, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.